I'm, I'm sorry, I'm gonna reset again. I was just... I was testing something on the opening menu. It is silly for me to lose, like, eight seconds at the start of the game for no reason. <clears throat> so I really like to jump around you. That might just not happen, though. Oh, I got the the skip thing there. It's good. There's a thing where apparently if you if you mash triangle while talking to cannot remember his name right now. The guy right before the tutorial. Oh! I was angled too far. Uh, if you mash triangle while mashing through that dialogue, the text boxes in the next room don't stop your movement for some reason. None of these boxes are stopping my movement. Interesting. So that does actually save, like, a, a pretty decent amount of time. <clears throat> I guess not so much time, but it makes going quickly through those rooms easier. Old Wrinkle, that might be his name. Instantly reminded you of Legacy of Kane. I've never played that one. Howdy howdy, inconsistent DG. And Gwen. This game is cute. This game is very cute, and I recently learned that the speedrun is much more approachable than I thought it would be. I had watched a friend do a casual first playthrough of this a couple years ago, and the game looked unforgiving and really hard. And then an, uh, the world record holder, very recently, just a few days ago, made a tutorial for the game that's about two hours long. Um, and it's super easy. <laughs> it's a PS1 game. Kingsley's Adventure for the PS1. Was my friend just bad? No. It's not even that. It's just that this game, or this run, skips most of the hardest parts. Casually, this game is pretty unforgiving. But in the speed run, it's just not really that big a deal. So yeah, I, I went from not having played this game at all, to uh, watching the tutorial, learning the game over the course of about four or five hours, and my first run was second place at just a little over an hour. There are not many runs, no. I'm hoping there will be more soon. Um, the, the tutorial Radicoon made was really good. I, I hope that the game picks up a little bit now, because of it. I also suspect that, um, 
there's still more strats to find. I have ideas for... I mean, I'm already doing a strat that was not in the record. Two. Uh, although one of them I'm not 100% sure is fast or worth it. Um, but I, I, I do still have ideas for others that I, I want to look at and try. I do still need to figure out what to do about the barrel in this room that I keep hitting. There's one that comes around this corner that, yeah, I guess I just gotta wait there? Maybe I should try standing at the other, the other wall. What is the Zando Toaster effect, Manly? <laughs> what what definition of that are you going for? No, that wall clip is extremely easy. There are others that are harder than that one, but they're still easy. <laughs> the problem, the biggest problem is with the hard ones, you know, each attempt does damage you. And so if it does, you know, throw a little bit of a fit and you, you take a bunch of tries, then you just die after a little bit. Uh, the hardest part of it is not accidentally running out of bounds. That's that's the real challenge. And everyone starts picking it up. Ah, uh, you see, man, like, that would be <laughs> neat, except uh, the much more common Zando Toaster effect is Zando Toaster finds a cool speed game and finds some cool tricks for it, and a bunch of people say, yeah, that is cool, and then nobody runs it. <laughs> I think Scrabble is far and away the most popular game that I've picked up and other people started running. Reboot, Muzz is the only person who's run it. Uh, Sim Theme Park, I only, like, got one person really to run it, and that was Shemp. The other people who ran it seemed to just be interested independently. Uh, I picked up Jersey Devil, and... I mean, arguably Muzz and Lucas did runs because of me, but I think they were both interested anyway. More games aside from just Klonoa? Yeah, it's nice to run a variety of games. Klonoa is one that I, I should really play sometime. I've watched some people run it, and that game looks extremely cute. <laughs> Jersey Devil is such a good game. I don't think I see you on the Jersey Devil leaderboard, Gwen. Come on. I, I would need to check and make sure, but I'm pretty sure I don't. I'm pretty sure I know everyone on that leaderboard. So it was on MU, so? Second place is on MU. World record in all tokens right now is on MU, I'm pretty sure. I think, I yeah, Batty still has the all tokens record and she was running on, 
um, PS1 emulator. <laughs> that's fair. No, that's fair. I will not sincerely berate people for how they choose to speedrun. Can we get it again? Yes. Yes, we can. I've loved that. Yeah, that game did pick up in price, didn't it? I feel very lucky that I, uh... had a copy of that as a kid. Same for Tomba 2. I feel so lucky I can run Tomba 2 on console because I just had a copy of it. probably think more about my life routing in this game, because I'm not convinced I actually need the extra life in this room. It's probably a big waste of time for me to be getting it, but like, I'm also still nervous about how lives work in this, so I don't know for sure. One of those nostalgia games you played at a friend's house? Yeah, for sure. It was one of the first games that I, like, really seriously tried hunting for skips in, and I found a bunch of stuff in it. There are so many cool skips in that game. Not even counting the skip that makes, uh, any percent possible. Where you just go straight to the final boss. <clears throat> It doesn't have that many more runs now. <laughs> we did get a few people to do any percent because it is like a five minute category, so it's pretty easy to convince people to give it a try. Um, but even so, I think any percent has like seven runners. And all tokens has four. There we go. And hundred percent has three. <laughs> Maybe two. <laughs> Did anyone run 100% other than me and Bragg? Surely Power Stone did it. I keep telling myself I need to go back to all tokens and 100% to get those records, because I know I can. Like, as, as happy as I am to have the any percent record by such a wide margin in Jersey Devil, it would be nice to have records in the, the other more serious categories. Ten any percent runners, and Power Stone did do Hundo. Thank you, Muzz. Ten any percent runners, really? I mean, there's me and Batty and Bragg, there's Thai Game, that's four. There's Muzz and Lucas, that's six. There's... I can't remember the person's name who... I think they got sub-5 even. Alistair or something? I don't know. That's seven. I don't know who the other three runners would be. Maybe Power Stone did. No, Power Stone definitely did any percent. After, after Bridge Skip was found. Hey, jerk. Get away. That surprises me, though. That it's, that it's so many. Okay, well hopefully I get this skip first try now. 
and in particular don't get hit right here. Okay. Yeah. Firestorm and Lollipop, what is wrong with me? I know both of them. Oh my god, I'm embarrassed. I'm thoroughly embarrassed. Like, honestly, that's... First of all, Lollipop is one of the mods. <laughs> um... But no, honestly, that's like talking about N++ runners and forgetting about Schmoll or something. Like, that's just... I'm a dumbo. I'm a big old dumbo. This dungeon's not going well. There we go. Yeah, the way I'm going through this room right now, I think is relatively slow, but serious. But, um... I, I needed life, so I didn't really have a choice. Yeah, what did you find, Muzz? What was the cool thing? Fun thing about this game, by the way, for anyone who hasn't seen it, the way we deal with a couple of bosses is by just guiding them out of bounds, and, uh... Okay, good. And then they just jump into a death plane, and die. <laughs> Do I know much about the Monster Hunter series? Not really. Yeah, there are two bosses we do that with. This game has four dungeons and nine bosses. <laughs> I, I wish we could do it with more because it's so funny to see. I, don't, I mean, maybe we can do it with more and we just haven't found ways to yet, but... We'll see, we'll see. to get on uh, on this box this box that I will land on no there we go okay good in the 5e booklet that basically converts 5e to work with monster hunter including complete monster manual stat blocks monster hunter monsters that is really cool and yeah Gwen I didn't know about this until I saw Lucas speedrunning this and it's such a it's such a pretty game it's pretty and cute and fun it's a good game and I, I learned something interesting about this you can skip that dialogue with the little girl but if you do that this dialogue doesn't happen, and Tartrazine guides you to the blacksmith's house, so I think it loses time skipping that, uh, that dialogue with the little girl in that house. It, it's weird. It's weird. It's, 
see. What is Horns' alpha gram? Uh. <laughs> um. <laughs> book? Student? Student book? Horns, is it student book? <laughs> Starts with D, ends with T? Oh no. Do... Don't... Don't look... At... No, there's no A for at. Don't look... Uh... <laughs> Horns, help. Uh, I will warn anybody who's starting to get interested and excited about this game, this copy cost me, like, 60 bucks. It might have been more than that, honestly, I don't remember, but it was... Like, it's a spendy game. It's... Unfortunately. Emu runs are allowed, yes. World record is currently on emulator. I'm playing on a PS2, but with fast disk speed off, just by personal choice. I figure if, uh, please let me out. You know, if we can avoid FDS being a thing in this community for as long as we can, that would be nice. What? You're not supposed to deal half of this boss's health and damage like that. Why didn't the boss do anything? Wait, really? You went there? That was so fast. What? What was that? <laughs> is that a pirate ship I just got on? It might be. Yes, it is. Uh, this is a pirate-themed world. Um, do bonk. Do do blown. Dost Windows Dos. How am I doing, horns? Saying random syllables out loud and I might get it? That's the plan. So, real quick, here, very brief overview of this game. Uh, you are uh, Kingsley, who wants to become a true knight, and uh, there's this bad guy named Bad Custard who stole a magic book from the castle. But you're not enough of a true knight to go after Bad Custard yet, so right now the king and queen are just sending you to help out uh, the various towns that have problems, so you can, you know, work your way up to being a true knight. But at the same time, all of the other knights of the kingdom, they, uh, they tried to go deal with Bad Custard, but Bad Custard stole a magic book, and he transformed all of the other knights into big monster bad guys. And so as we go through the game, we also, in addition to every dungeon we go through, um, we're also going back into each world because each world has one of the transformed, they're called Shadow Knights. Um, and we need to defeat them to transform them back. So that that's what I just fought back in the first world again. Okay, there's a carrot. Is there also a carrot next to the game? Yes. Uh, they're... The king and queen are, like, pretty definitively rabbits. There's a theory that Kingsley was originally going to be a rabbit, but then, you know, someone was like, no, foxes are way cooler. And, like, that's fair, they are, but... Yeah, there's a bunch of, like, carrot-themed stuff in... I didn't want to turn that far. There's a bunch of carrot-themed stuff in the first world. In the first world, in the, like, home world. The the kingdom. It's the carrot kingdom. Yeah. 
Mm -hmm. some RPG town in trouble music for this area, yeah. Don Corleone, but spelled with a K, and, uh, yeah, Don Corleone out. Lives do I have four? I'm doing okay on lives. Bonk was very apt, uh, thematically. Do be looking out, Spyro. -t. That's that's how it ends in OT. <laughs> Make releases in a whopping five days. Ooh. We are getting there, aren't we? Beautiful. Beautiful and lucky. Um, the remake for Super Mario RPG is what Reiji is referring to. Dude, I wish. Remake of this, that'd be so good. Dokal Bokal Uh Eagle Bot. Am I am I close horns? <laughs> I'm waiting on a remake. <laughs> I mean, come on, you know it would be cool. Dokal Bokal I don't remember what I said anymore. I already forgot it. Wait, what? No, you fool. Get Come down here. Come on. Thank you. Enemies can die from fall damage, by the way. We use that a lot. Not a lot, a lot. We use that a few times. Dokal bokal local bokal. Do dokal bokal. Kobold Doble Noble <laughs> uh, Here's another boss we kill by going out of bounds by the way They have like part of the area outside of these gates loaded So if you can get through uh you can just stand here, and the boss is like, Oh, I'm coming at you! I'm coming, I'm gonna get you! No! Help, I'm hurt! <laughs> this is a very good game. And it helps that the devs were very nice about, like, making sure you can get back in bounds. So if you go out of bounds, all of those gates that are normally closed just open up for you. And now I really hope this guy doesn't kill me. <laughs> Good. More syllables, more syllables. Deco vocal dipogogbal. Vocal local. Kibo. Delbo. Delbin? No, it starts with D O. Dolbin? Oh, they were a Klonoa speedrunner. Oh, awesome. I didn't know that. Yeah, they, uh, they're still active. They've been, um, verifying runs and stuff. There's some consonants I'm forgetting. I don't know what letters there are. There's the T, there's the S. <laughs> it doesn't start with Dokal, but I said Dokal earlier, and you said you're close, and I got excited about that, and <laughs> there's no way it starts with Dokal. 
That's the way I go. I go this way. Um, I'm actually a little worried about my health right now. If this boss hits me a single time, I die. <laughs> I'm very likely about to just lose a lot of time here. I'm gonna... I... it... I forgot to switch off of... Okay, never mind, it doesn't matter. I forgot to switch off of the, uh... The crossbow. There we go. Now we'll be fine. Now it doesn't matter. And am I worried about life count for Dungeon 4? I don't... Oh, I kinda should be. Oh, that was interesting. The bull, like, carried me all the way there. There we go. Golf returned! Golf, help me with the alphagram. <laughs> It could start with something like Dokal Bokal Local Load. But not that, but it could start with something like that. Double? Double rainbow all the watt? Does it start with double? That would make sense. <laughs> Dokal Bokal. Dokal Bokal! Double Warhawk. Warhawk for the PS1. Okay, double... Double... Nope, I got nothing. Um, I'm still worried about the next dungeon, by the way. I don't feel confident about this. Double stone knot! Oh my god. Golf's a genius. Golf is the smartest person I've ever known. Yo, Nem. Thank you, thank you for the GL. <laughs> so cool, vocal, look, low, not. Let's do not. Okay, so we get to see if, uh, if we're gonna just die here and game over, which we very well could. Because we... There is a death abuse we want to do at one point. Um, I am all set up for it right now. <laughs> but like, if we die in extra time, then we might lose like 15 minutes. Don't go out that way. That's not what I wanted. Come on, get in. Oh, that's interesting. That's interesting. That's really bad, but it's interesting. I'm gonna deliberately die because I, I can't get through this dungeon the way I am right now. I, I need to game over. Double Warhawk would be good. Wow. 
It's actually fine if I take some damage here. Um... Because, like I said, I, I do want to take a death abuse later, and it's a damage-based death abuse. You... yeah, I could've. I, I see it now. I think the biggest problem was... Ooh, that was closer than I would've liked. I think the biggest problem was... I got so caught up on the, the vocal noise that I was not going to assign the K to the word not. Okay, that's where the loading zone is. You cannot go too far in there. That is good to know. I was also forgetting the water S, yes. The vocal bows a lot. Kingsley, you wanna you wanna get in this hole? I am still figuring out the uh some of these. Uh, you can't do it for any wall, is the thing. Um, there are certain conditions that need to be met for you to be able to do it. Uh, in particular, like, it works right here because these walls go at an acute angle. Um, so you can, like, squeeze yourself in there. It worked in the other room because... Ooh, okay. Um, it worked in the other room because the chest was close enough to the wall that, uh, that we were able to get squeezed. And if you don't have something like that, then you need an enemy pushing you in. Yo, Lucas. Yo, P-Man. This is the room where I would death abuse, but unfortunately... Fortunately, not today. Or, I mean, I probably still will, honestly. I think... Rad actually said, like... If you, if you can't death abuse, it's worth just doing the room normally, but... I really don't know. I don't know how this room works. Do I just go up here? Oh, I need to go this way, don't I? There's a button there, I see. I don't know, I, I feel like it's probably still faster to have death abused. It's a pretty long room. Aw, thank you, horns. I'm glad Double Stone Not makes you think of me. How go the runs? Eh, could be better. I'll, I'm getting better at this game. It's hard to say how this run in particular is going right now. Uh, I, I do still need to just finish more runs and get more of a sense of pace. Because I... I'm not using splits, still. And I don't know when, um... I don't know when my PB or the record got to different places in, uh... In the, the time. Am I enjoying the run? Absolutely. Yes, this is a very fun game to speedrun, still. a game that had previous runners. Look at P-Man playing popular things. <sighs> what's the, uh, what's the new game, P-Man? Ooh, gosh. Please don't die. Please don't die. Please don't die. Please don't die. <laughs> this room is so long if you die.
Yeah, that'd be exciting, Lucas. Apocalypse starring Bruce Willis. Fantastic. <laughs> that sounds like a really good game. I'm excited for you, P-Man. I have the... Just thinking of Bruce Willis, I have the Die Hard game for the PS1. And, oh my goodness, what a weird game that is. <laughs> I don't need to push you. does drop hearts, but I don't think I need that right now. It's on that demo disc with Bugs Life. Incredible. That's what I want to hear about a game. That is unfortunate that I didn't make that cycle. I really should have. There's really no reason it shouldn't have worked. What? No! Oh, this is such a big time loss. Oh, this is kind of bad, actually. Please, please no more mistakes. <laughs> please no more. Oh god, Kingsley, no. Oh, if I game over here, that's the run. <laughs> oh, and this extra life doesn't respawn like I hoped it would. Okay, why... Did I not catch this before? How did that hit me? You're kidding! There are coyote frames, yes. Yeah, and there are some jumps. It's, again, one of the reasons why this game is actually just really brutal normally, is there are some jumps that I think require that you use them. <laughs> and that should not be an expectation <laughs> in a game. That should be like an, oh cool, I've gotten so good at the game kind of detail, not like a basic movement mechanics thing. I gotta wait. I, am I gonna wait again? No, because I'm speedy, haha. -ha. Nope. You're kidding. Ugh. That was almost so fast. If I got that key on the first try, I don't think I would have had to wait for, uh, for that roller to come back down. Okay. Well, at the very least, I think I'm less in immediate need... Really? Less in immediate need of, uh, picking up extra lives. Like, I, I should be good on lives through the end of the game. It is simply unfortunate that this isn't a very good run anymore.
We've got another fun clip in this room. There are actually a couple of ways to do this. The one I do right here, you take damage falling off of that wall. But you can also line yourself up and do a backflip so that you end up on the same level as the, the warp and you don't need to take damage. Hey now. Hey now! Oh gosh, I need health. Where even are you, man? Okay. Yeah, the height needed to take fall damage. It's weird. It's like it's really small to take half a heart of fall damage, and then if you go, like, any further than that, it's insta-death. I... I'm kind of convinced at this point it has to do with, like, properties of the ground rather than actual height dropped. No, it has to, because there's other... there's other places you drop down that you take way, way less or no damage, including in this homeworld. <laughs> Me with my Spyro terminology, hub world, whatever you want to call it. Circle is the talk button, and I definitely remember that. Okay, hopefully I can do this quickly, because I'm gonna do a skip here and it's actually really hard. Nope, that's not it. That's too far, too far back. these golden arrows to shoot the uh, the eyeballs and I know I jumped down during that cutscene but like trust me even if I fell down during normal gameplay it just doesn't hurt you so that's that's what I was talking about with the uh, with fall damage just being really weird how many lives do I have Ugh, not enough not enough lives! Okay, I got an extra life. I think we have enough lives now. It's still not a perfect run by any means, but uh, that helps. It definitely helps. Also, switch back to the sword. I don't need the uh, don't need the crossbow for this. Yeah, this guy does a ton of damage for some reason. 
Uh, all of his magic shots do... I think it's one and a half hearts. Or maybe two hearts. And the axe does one and a half. Okay, good. We got through it. This game is a lot of vibes, to be fair. It's just it's just a lot of vibes. Okay. We're through that. How much else do I have? Plenty. I do need to jump in the river and take a little damage, but it's only a little bit. The important thing is just that I'm not, like, right about to... There we go. To die. Okay, now we've got one more Shadow Knight, and then we have the final boss. Uh, no. Do full 360, go this way. Oh my god, I keep reaching up to scratch my face, like, right as something comes up that I need both hands for. <laughs> and I do actually need to switch back to the crossbow for this. Unfortunately, this boss is really long and really easy. <laughs> we just, uh, we just... He does three, like, flap animations, and then you can hit him. And you just keep doing this until... Until he's down. I'm very upset that he got that far. That spider being out is a little bit of a problem. All of those spiders being out is a little bit of a problem. So the problem with the spiders, they do very little damage to you. That's not the problem. The problem is, if you're near a spider, Kingsley prioritizes kicking at the spiders. Even if you are in first person with the crossbow, Kingsley prioritizes kicking at the spiders. So, spiders being out on the ground is a pain. Okay, that is all four of the Shadow Knights done. Uh, I'm doing just fine on health. Where am I? Go this way. I'm doing just fine on health, so I'm going to just run back to the kingdom. Uh, and then we get to have a funny... funny scene with, uh, with the king and queen. Oh, that's right, you do do that in DK, don't you? 
So here the king and queen are like, Kingsley, you did it! You went through all the dungeons! You're a true knight! And it's so great, and Kingsley... Kingsley lived out his dream, he's a true knight now. And they're like, go Kingsley, go on your way. You're a hero. Leave now to your, your adventure. And then we turn right back around, and we're like, Hey, by the way, I also dealt with all the Shadow Knights. And they're like, oh, that's great. Okay, yeah, you could go to the final boss. We just, we forgot to bring that up before when we were celebrating you. I need to change weapons again also. I don't know when the best time to do that is. my health is going to be a problem. I might die in this fight. We will see. Not quite yet, but it's his magic attacks are actually kind of dangerous. Like that. Just came up here immediately, full heart of damage. Also, I can only hit him once per phase at this point. I really need to remember that and stop wasting time trying to strike repeatedly. Like that. <laughs> Fifty-nine, fifteen, something, maybe fourteen. That's like a two-minute PB. It's not bad. Not bad. <laughs> Good emotes. And then it just goes straight into credits.
I think I've got one more run in me before I, I go grocery shopping for dinner. <clears throat> and I've got so much time to save. Thank you. I am now the second person to get sub hour in Kingsley's Adventure. Oh, you know, well, the credits are going real quick. I did want to check to get some sense of pace for the skip, the tutorial skip I've been doing. I want to compare my run to Radicoon. See, when on the timer did Radicoon leave the tutorial? Like 219-ish. And he left Sea Town Dungeon at like 840. Okay. 